And noon tonight, the Jackson Public School District community gathered at Callaway High School for the second meeting to discuss the JPS optimization plan to close down or consolidate 16 schools in the district. 16 WAPT's Madeline Nolan has more on what came out of that meeting. Another packed meeting at Callaway High School to discuss Jackson Public Schools optimization plan. We don't presume that our plan is airtight, that every aspect of it is exactly as it should be. The goal was to give people something to respond to, um, to think about, to consider. 16 schools within the district are on the chopping block and a lot of JPS's reasoning points to the continued decrease in students. Our decline in enrollment is stark and we've got to consider operating differently. According to numbers provided by JPS, class size is being taken into consideration. Dr. Green says there's only about an average 12 students per classroom right now. When you have fewer scholars in a building, the fixed costs, when you start to spread those costs out across the number of scholars you have in the building, those costs go way up with fewer scholars. Former JPS teacher, now advocate, Cheryl Smith says smaller classrooms work better. It's going to be hard to teach when you've got 27, 28, 29, 30 in the classroom. You can't get to all of them. You can't. So no child left behind, that becomes another lie. Brad Davis, another JPS product, is asking why wasn't this issue discussed back when they started to see this decline in 2015. We lost our first thousand. Why didn't that check engine light come on in the, in the, in, in, in the city of Jackson? Davis believes that the community should be working on getting students back in Jackson public schools rather than making these swift decisions to close them down. Madeline Nolan, 16 WAPT News. The next meeting will be held November 6th at 6 p.m. at Provine High School. The district hopes to have a final plan by December 5th. Congressman Benny Thompson pledged to work with JPS to help with repurposing buildings considered for closure.